at the end of this video, you are going to have one of these fortune tellers with colors on the outside, numbers on the inside, and you're going to be able to use your fingers underneath to open and close it. Okay, and you're going to learn how to play a game with it. So right now, the only thing you need is a piece of paper and something to write with. So please let your teacher know now if you're missing a piece of paper. You're starting with a rectangle piece of paper, but what you need is a square. So the way that you're going to create the square is you're going to start by very carefully folding. Make sure that this edge touches this edge here. And you're going to want to do this really carefully and slowly because if you don't have a square, it's going to make the rest of it a little bit messy. Okay, you can see here in this corner, my edges are meeting. You really need to use two hands to kind of hold it steady and then carefully crease this down. Once you have that, what you have is this extra piece of paper that you're going to remove and then this is your square, right? If you open this up, this is these two triangles that create a square. So we need to remove this extra piece right here. What you can do, I like to flip it over and then neatly make a fold. Look, you're trying to make the fold right along this edge. So just kind of start gently pushing it down, make sure it's placed correctly. And then a nice strong crease. I like to use my nail to kind of push down that crease. If you get it wrong, you can just unfold and redo it. And then I'm going to just fold this back and forth a few times to make it easy to tear. Again, I like to just run my nail, just like my fingernail along it to make the crease. And then carefully tear that piece off, nice and slow. If you happen to have scissors with you, you can use those too. But our goal is to make a square piece of paper. Okay, so now we have a square. You already have this crease. You're going to create the same crease going the other direction. And the reason for these first two creases is we want to be able to very easily find the very center of this paper. Again, make your creases as neat as possible. Look, you can see mine's off just a tiny bit, but try not to get it too far off because it's going to make the whole thing not work as well. Once you have this, see this is the center, you're going to fold each of the four corners right to that center square. So again, I would just hold down with one finger. Nice, neat crease. Next corner, you're going to fold all four corners into that center spot. And this, this is just extra. You can put that to the side. You can put it in the trash or recycling bin on your way out. Okay, so now you have something like this. Raise your hand if you have questions or if yours doesn't look like this or if you're having issues. Okay, check with the person next to you. But you should have all four corners folded in. Once you have all four corners folded in, then flip it over and do the same thing again. Here's the center. You're going to fold all four corners into the center. Again, the neater you make your creases, go slow and carefully to make it neat so it will work well. And it looks like this. Once you have that, you're done. You're going to fold it in half like this. Okay. What you can do, I like to fold it the other way too. It just helps the paper kind of crease. So I'm just, you can see I can fold it in half this way, can fold it in half this way. What you're going to do in the bottom, take your fingers, stick two fingers in here, and you can just kind of start pushing on a little bit two fingers in the other two sides. And once I have four fingers in, it creates this. Okay, and you can see I'm just using my fingers to open and close it. I'm just doing this with my fingers, right? And you can open and close it like this. Okay, now this is part of a game. So what we do is on the outside square, so these are the four outside squares. And the outside squares, we're gonna put colors. Now, you can just write, like, you can just write red, pink. Just choose four colors. Um, if you have colors and you want to like instead of writing red, write a little like color a little red. Cool. Do you. But I'm going to do red, pink, blue, and green. Okay. So what you can see is that when I open this, when I set this up, 
on the outside, I have a color. Okay, so there are my four colors. You can choose different colors. When you open up on the inside, there's eight triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna put the numbers one through eight. You can do them in order. You could just do one, two, three, all the way around. I like to mix them up, so I like to do one. Just make sure you don't repeat numbers right. Two, three, four, five, six. You can do it in whatever order you want, but make sure you get the numbers one through eight. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do in a moment on the inside, you're gonna be given 10 options, but you're gonna use these four spaces. So, spot number one, spot number two, spot number three, spot number four, to write questions that you might ask a classmate, a classmate to get to know them. So then, here's how you play the game. You'll go up to someone and you'll say, choose a color. And let's say they say red. You'll say, okay, R, E, D. And then you'll say, choose a number. And they have to choose one of these four numbers. So they have to choose one, four, six, or eight. So let's say they choose four. You go, okay, one, two, three, four. Choose another number. Let's say they choose one. Okay, one. And then when they choose the third number, let's say they choose the number two, you'll say, okay, you chose two. You open it up and you'll open up this question and that'll be the question that they have to answer. Okay, so right now you get to choose out of a list of 10 what four questions you'd like to ask your classmates to get to know them and then you'll be going and playing this game with several classmates as a way to get to know them.